Christmas, friends. My name is Pastor Bruce, and I'm your pastor here at Jerome Church. I am so glad that you've tuned in to this week's kids' worship video. Are you ready to learn together? Today, we are finishing up our series all about Christmas called Joy to the World. This month, we are being reminded of what a universal gift Jesus is and how Jesus brought good news, joy, and peace on that very first Christmas so that the whole world could know God. This week, our big idea is that Jesus came so the world could know God. Now, we are going to begin reading a story from the Bible about Jesus when he was a kid, like you. Our verses for today are Luke chapter 2, verses 41 through 52. You can listen to me while I read or follow along with your own Bible. Go ahead and pause this video if you need to get your Bible. Ready? Let's read it together. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. When Jesus was 12 years old, they went up to the feast as usual. After the feast was over, his parents left to go back home. The boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were not aware of it. They thought he was somewhere in their group. So they traveled on for a day. Then they began to look for him among their relatives and friends. They did not find him, so they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple courtyard. He was sitting with the teachers. He was listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at how much he understood. They also were amazed at his answers. When his parents saw him, they were amazed. His mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been worried about you. We have been looking for you everywhere. Why were you looking for me? He asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he meant by that. He went back to Nazareth with them, and he obeyed them. But his mother kept all these things like a secret treasure in her heart. Jesus became wiser and stronger. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to people. Now we are going to learn more about how Jesus came so the world could know God from our friends on today's episode of Grow TV. If you are one of our preschool friends, you could have someone help you jump ahead to today's episode of Callie's World, or just keep watching. Hey, hey there, little cherry nuggets. It's me, Carl. Whew. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends. Talk about Jesus and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Oh, hey there, kids! How you doing? Having fun? Enjoying this beautiful Christmas season? <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Oh, me? What am I doing? Well, <laughs> uh, as you can see, I'm not in my office or home right now, and uh, well, it's pretty bad. I'm outside, and it's freezing out here. I feel like I'm an ice cube taking a bath in a frozen lake. And then I got out and went to go get a blanket, but that was made of ice cubes. Ice cube blanket! Now you're probably asking, hey Carl, how'd you get out in the freezing cold in the first place? Well, it's a funny story. So there I was, in my house. It was right after dinner, and I was absolutely stuffed. Yep. But then in the corner of my eye, I see a beautiful plate of delicious, chewy, warm, chocolate chip cookies. Now, I knew that my stomach was full, but in that moment, nothing else mattered to me besides the, the, those cookies. So I had a decision to make. Eat those cookies and feel terrible and face the consequences, or be an adult and have the emotional control to say no. So after I ate all the cookies, things got real bad. I ate so much sugar that I began to see colors I never knew existed. I began to hallucinate and see the strangest things. My taste buds felt like they got a ride on a rocket ship into the planet of Flavorverse and into the city of Tastyopolis. Occupation? Who know? Me. So then I started to get all sweaty and I figured, hey, I'll just step outside for a little bit. Cool down, you know? Wouldn't you know it? I locked myself out of the house. Wish I could remember the lock code from my door, but I can't. Wait a second. I think I might know who knows the code. Hold on. Let me try and give her a call. Hi, Carl. Jada, oh, thank goodness. I really need your help. Okay, what's up? 
So here's the story. Like, so we, I just got done eating, and then like I saw cookies, and I saw the cookies that were warm, and they were chocolatey, and I began to eat them. Then like I was super full, and then like I, I ate too much sugar, and then I started like freak out, and like what is that? What is that? And I'm like ah, and I started getting real sweaty, and I stepped outside. Now I'm locked outside my door, house, and I don't remember the code. And that brings us to here. I forgot the code to my house, and I've wandered, and I think I'm lost. <gasps> oh no, you're lost. Well, I guess that kind of makes you a little like Jesus, huh? What do you mean? Jesus got lost? Mm, well, sort of. Do you remember the story of Jesus at the temple in Luke chapter 2? I certainly don't. And, well, I don't have a Bible. Do you mind telling me about it? Sure thing. So Mary and Joseph took Jesus, who was 12 at the time, into Jerusalem where there was a festival happening. Oh, cool. Once the festival was over, Joseph took him and his family home. What a fun family trip. Well, it wasn't until Mary and Joseph got home that they realized Jesus wasn't with them. What? Jesus is missing? The Son of God is missing. How could they let this happen? It was an honest mistake. They thought he was with them the whole time because the company or caravan that they were with was really big. Three days later, Mary and Joseph went back to Jerusalem and found Jesus. <laughs> and guess where Jesus was? I bet it isn't in the middle of a blizzard. You'd be right. He was actually in the temple. Mary and Joseph found Jesus sitting among the teachers. He was listening to them and asking questions. People were amazed at how well Jesus could understand and his responses to their questions. Things were real different back then, huh? Definitely. During the festival, Jesus had celebrated becoming an adult. Did you know that it was their custom to celebrate adulthood at 12 years old? Even though technically he was called an adult, he was still under his parents' authority, which is why when his parents came back for him, he obeyed and didn't start his ministry until he was 30 years old and not under his parents' authority. He stayed home deliberately because he felt more at home with the teachers. He also left intentionally to obey his parents. Wow, that is so cool. What did Mary and Joseph do? Well, they were blown away. Obviously, they were so excited to see Jesus safe, but they were also wondering why he decided to stay in Jerusalem in those three days. But Jesus pretty much said, of course I would be in the temple where my father's work is. Jesus saw being in the temple, teaching, listening as importance. Why do you think it was so important? Well, Jesus knew God. I mean, he was God's son. And Jesus so badly wanted everybody he knew to know God. Why? Well, when people know God, things change. Change? Change how? Well, think about it. When a person doesn't know God, true love, joy, and peace is impossible to have. But when we do know God, all of that and so much more is given to us. Whew. Man, I guess you're right. I could totally see why Jesus wants people to know God. Well, I have a Christmas present for y'all, and it's a big idea. Our big idea is Jesus came so the world would know God. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus came so the world would know God. Yes! 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 I tell you what, I haven't learned that much since I was at the Macaroni and Cheese Museum. Wait, that's it! My code from my house! When I was at the Mac and Cheese Museum, I ate 213 bowls of mac and cheese. It was a world record. My code is 213. Wow, what would I do without y'all? Thank you so much. Now I'm going to go inside and defrost my face now. So <laughs> see you next week. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Let's keep learning about how Jesus came so the world could know God with this week's episode of Callie's World. If you are one of our friends in elementary school, you can jump ahead to today's discussion questions and closing prayer, or just keep watching. closet from a play I was in once. I put them on because they reminded me of last week's Bible story and made me feel full of peace. Bah. 
we got another message from a friend who lives in a totally different place in the world called Japan. Can you say that with me? Japan! Japan! Let's check it out! Merry Christmas, Callie! What do you like to eat on Christmas Eve? My family likes to eat fried chicken. A lot of people here in Japan like it too. It's the yummiest. Okay, bye bye. Isn't that a cool tradition? My family eats ham usually, but I love fried chicken. So I got a bucket of fried chicken so that I could celebrate Christmas just like Elijah and his family. Friends, Elijah lives in a place that is on the complete other side of the world and he also knows about Jesus and celebrates Christmas. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna chew in some fried chicken while we check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. Our story begins with Jesus' mom and dad on a journey again. Jesus wasn't a baby anymore though. He was 12 years old and walking besides Mary and Joseph, Jesus' dad. They were going to a festival, which is like a big party. The party was in a town called Jerusalem. When the festival was over, they headed home. But Jesus' parents couldn't find Jesus anywhere. They looked everywhere with no luck. So they began to go back to Jerusalem. And there Jesus was. They found him in a place where all the very smart people were. These were people that knew the most about God. This place was called the temple. Even though Jesus was just a boy, he understood just as much as they all did. People were amazed at him. Jesus' parents asked why he had to let them worry. Jesus told them that he had to be in his father's house. They didn't really understand. What father was Jesus talking about? True, Jesus was the son of Mary and Joseph, but he was also the son of God. He wanted to know more about God so he could start telling others about God too. He had to be at the temple because Jesus came so that the world could know God. Have your parents ever given you a job to do? Like pick up toys or books? Jesus was just a kid, but he had a big job. He came so that others might know God. The really cool thing is that even though we're kids too, we have the same job. We can help others know God by sharing joy, peace, and love with others. It's a good thing I cleared out some space in my tummy because I want to invite you all to something very special. Come on. Every year, our family has a huge Christmas Eve dinner and we invite everyone from our neighborhood. My mother also says prayer before we eat. She says thank you to Jesus, who came so that we can know God. Jesus came so that others might know God. What is one way that you can help others know God this Christmas? Merry Christmas, friends. It has been fun learning and growing with you. Now I want you to talk with someone else in your house about these questions. You can pause the video while you talk, but be sure to come back so that we can pray together and practice this week's memory verse. Our first question this week is, what are some ways you can spend quality time with the people you love? Our second question is, what are ways you can spend time with God to know God better? Go ahead and pause the video while you discuss. I'll wait for you. It's been so fun learning with you about how Jesus came so the world could know God. Let's take time now to pray together 
When we pray, let's put our hands together, close our eyes, and bow our heads. God, thank you for making yourself known through Jesus. We not only know so much about you, but we can know you like we know our family and friends. Help us live in a way that helps other people get to know you too. Amen. Before I go today, let's practice this month's memory verse, together from Luke chapter 2, verse 14. Let's say it together. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. Luke 2, verse 14. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Thank you, friends, for spending time with me today. We can't wait to see you next week. Bye, friends.